the moment our children are born who are they watching whom are they seeing whom are they observing of course they are watching us they are observing us and the law of life says you observe and you absorb and children are the best blotting paper my dear friends what you say they repeat so whatever you do whatever you say and however you behave you are being watched and for them you are the first role model we are the first role model for our children they keep observing us they keep listening to us and based on what they see and what they hear and that is what they communicate so till certain age for them mother is the hero and father is the hero children like to have that energy and exuberance and enthusiasm that's what they love you and i when we were young we liked cartoon movies recently i saw this lion king lion king 1 so i just came home for lunch for some time and that lion king was going on my daughter she is in a 10th standard holiday time for her younger one you know she was watching lion king and after lunch was over i thought i will just sit down for few minutes relax and then i'll go as you keep watching it you get lost into this why there is life there is energy there is enthusiasm and that's what children love why do you think people like rajini gandhi are nammalla apdi telephone apdi eduthu pesuvo apdi eduthilla pesra an telephone this is life there is energy you know normally we get down the steps like this and we go when he has to get down from the step like that he gets down <laughs> huh? there is some life there is some energy something different he is doing abhi nam paakrom oh that's what they wanted children wanted to see a father who is lively children wanted to see a mother who is lively where there is some smile where there is energy where there is enthusiasm the father would tell the child beta even if you have scored less marks never ever try to hide the progress report from me never ever try to hide it it is okay if you fail but it is not okay to be dishonest don't try to hide all these things and father is giving a very very important and a sincere lecture to the child just then the telephone bell rings and the child picks up the call and on other side there is father's very close friend kupu swami uncle uncle kupu swami uncle yes uncle cholo uncle at the moment the child says kupu swami uncle father from here says uncle uh, yes uncle uh, no no uncle appa he just left uncle uh, uncle yes uncle the moment he comes i'll ask him to call you uncle okay uncle bye uncle now few minutes earlier the same father told the child it's okay if you fail it's okay if you score less marks but never ever try to be dishonest never ever try to hide don't lie father told this but what did the son see the drama which the father did when that uncle had called up so which means which is more impactful what he heard or what he saw what he saw so now what we have done without our knowledge is we have given a license to the child saying 
but it's okay now you can also lie if appa can lie to kubu swami uncle you can also lie to appa very important parental responsibility is that i have to give my child exposure as many exposure i am able to give my child so much of good i am doing to my child which is your favorite spot when will i say which is my favorite spot so i will tell you if you ask me kashmir is one of the best spot i've ever been to if i say kashmir is one of the best spot i've ever been to which means i have been to so many places after experiencing so many places i say kashmir is the best place i've ever been to yaar so which means if you ask me what is uh, my favorite movie one of those favorite movies i will say vedam pudid amazing outstanding movie so when will i say this is my favorite movie when will you say this is your favorite movie you have seen so many movies after seeing so many movie there is one or two or there are few movies which stays in your system for the rest of your life and you will say this is my favorite movie how will i get to know what is my favorite dish when i have tasted enough number of dishes after tasting enough number of dishes i will tell you this is my favorite dish which means i have seen so many places to say this is the best place i have seen so many movies to say this is the best movie i have tasted so many dishes to say this is my favorite dish likewise i have seen so many teachers to say she is my favorite teacher i have related to so many people to say he is my favorite uncle you understand so which means the more and more i give this horizontal exposure to my child where i have to allow the child before as young as possible you know so many these pressures are coming in terms of education by the time the child is into the ninth standard onwards at least before that if they like dance or oh, put them in dance and then after some time she'll say appa my friends are all going for a music class i want to go for a music class never ever try to truncate their expressions by saying you take up one thing but you are not completing it throw them into new zones get them to experience new things take them to new places every time you put them into something new something new something new their mind is also expanding they are also getting some kind of an exposure they are getting to have some experiences in the process they get to meet variety and different kinds of people in different places which is very important because parenting is parenting when the child is also parented by the society all the investment you do above the neck it is for a lifetime so please do not truncate it when they want to learn something new as a parent it is my responsibility to encourage them and tell them do it do it of course we have to tell them don't leave it incomplete complete it get into something else you want to go go for a swimming class okay you've just started this dance class you've got another four more classes to finish finish those four classes then go for the swimming class for how many months is swimming class 3 months okay finish the 3 months course of the swimming class and then you plan whatever you want to plan so as far as possible as they are entering tell them finish it even if they don't finish it it is okay i'm telling you it is okay but you tell them let them get into this attitude of i take up something i will finish it and then i will take up something else get them to have horizontal exposure and as you give them those horizontal exposures they will hit on something which will become their vertical expertise and keep waiting till they hit on something keep waiting don't force them into it long time back when 
the racialism was prevailing where the uh, blacks were treated as slaves by the white in uh, United States of America. There was a birthday party that was happening in one of the white. Miss Shirley, the small girl, it was her birthday party. And uh, everybody came with their gift and, uh, you know, enjoying the entire mood over there. Miss Shirley had two black maids, a boy aged about nine and a girl aged about 12. These two blacks made with whatever little savings they had, they bought a small gift and they went and gave it to Miss Shirley, wishing her happy birthday. Receiving the gift, Miss Shirley looked at them and said, after the party is over, stay back and have the leftovers and go. For a moment, the entire party stopped to see who those two people were who will have to have the leftovers. And when they saw these two blacks, they thought, oh, blacks were meant to be treated so, and the party continued. Oh, the children could not take this humiliation. With so much hurt in their heart, they ran out of the party with tears trickling down their cheeks. And as they went out, the boy, in a distance, he saw a few gas balloons going up in the air. And there he saw a red balloon go up, a blue balloon go up, and a white balloon go up. The moment he saw that white balloon go up, oh, he couldn't handle it. He ran to the gas balloon vendor and asked him, Uncle, you released a red balloon, a blue balloon, and a white balloon, which all went up. By any chance, will a black balloon also go up? Wow, what should be the hurt in the child? An amazing human being, a good Samaritan, the gas balloon vendor, he being so, he took a black balloon, filled it with the gas, and he just released it. And as he released it, he just threw his arms around the shoulders of the boy and said, my boy, it is not the outside of the balloon that takes it to the top. It is the inside of the balloon that takes it to the top. And all balloons are made of the same inside stuff. In this context, every child in your home and every child in my home and every child in the society is a balloon by itself. All balloons, it may have a different color, it may have a different texture, it may have a different shape, it may have a different size, but the inside stuff of all the balloons are the same. Now this is something which I as a father, this is something which I as a mother, it should get into my system. So which means in terms of human potential, whether it is your child or his child or her child or my child, every children, they are made with a what? Same inside stuff. Existential glory lies in creating all of us equals. Human glory lies in ensuring we don't die as equals. That's our glory. Starting point is the same. Existential glory lies in creating all of us equals. Human glory lies in ensuring I don't die as equal. I should be the number one. That is what I should strive for. That's what everybody should strive for. That I should be the number one. Samson says, when I manufacture estin, that estin will be uniform and common to anybody and everybody across the globe. If a man-made instrument can be made unbiased with all potency uniform to everybody, you think the divine manifestation when he manufactures, he is going to give you one special child, one inferior child, one ordinary child, ill. He also manufactures yestins. And he also says, in my features, 
in the way I manufacture my S10, my product, they are also made with amazing features. Now, how much of it I use, that much I benefit. So when I use very little of what I am made up of, only so much I will be able to benefit. When I know how to use more of it, so I go to the settings to find out, oh, what else is there, what more is there in that. How much of these features am I using to understand, oh, this is an amazing creation, yeah. Amazing creation. Why? The more and more I use, the more and more I use, I get to understand, oh, so much is there, is it? Feel good factor. Bottom line of life is this. When I feel good, I want to relate with that person. When I don't feel good, as they are coming that side, I go this side. Why? I don't feel good about it here. Somebody whom you really love, and suddenly they knock the door, you open. Wow! You give them a hug. Just then you finished everything you were about to lie down. But someone whom you love the most, when they come home, Aja, aja, come, come, sit down. Sapti, ya. Illa, pasikidu. Uka, uka. Rende nimsho. Rende nimsho. And in that, you know, the way you are excited to see that friend of yours, you are talking to them, you are cooking, and that rice is going on, some rasam is going on, some, you know, potato fry is going on, some papadam is going on. In about 10 minutes time, extraordinary lunch. And when they eat also, why? A oh, feel good factor. Similar scenario, you have finished everything, you are about to lie down, and some guests come home and through the you know keyhole you are seeing it. And the moment you see, you skip a heartbeat. These people, is it? At this time, is it? My God. And reluctantly you are wondering, should I open or should I not open? <laughs> Why? You are not feeling good about their presence. Another very important responsibility of every father and every mother is to ensure how many times, in how many places, in how many ways am I able to make my child feel good. The father asked the son, but uh, how much is 8 into 8? And the child said, 62, Papa. Immediately the father went, hugged the child, kissed the child, threw him in the air. And from there the mother came with the dosa karandi. <laughs> and she asked that father, what did you ask? 8 into 8. What did your son say? 62. 62 is it? Huh? Yesterday I asked him, he said 61. Today he said 62. Within two days he'll come to 64. Huh? Which means, when I appreciate the slightest improvement and every improvement, the child wants to improve. Academics is important. I never ever tell people that, no, it is okay. How much ever you can study, you study. No. But all that I want every parent to understand is you want a very very competent potential child or you wanted a very happy child which is better happy child. first is i want my child to be a happy child rest are details rest are details happiness is the primary ingredient with which it's an embedded technology with which you and i we were born so anything which I do, 
if that is going to take away my happiness it is not worth doing it So how do I improve my self image? I will improve on my self image when I do things which I have not done before. I have not sang before in front of an audience. Or when I sing in front of an audience, something which I have not done before, oh, it enhances my self image. I have not danced in front of an audience. Oh, when I do that, it enhances my self image. First time I am going into the kitchen to make one vegetable biryani. And that when you do it, when he eats and he looks and he says, Wow, kala kita. Oh, that enhances the self-image of that woman. And she wants to go back to that recipe book to find out what is the next new recipe we will try. When was the last time you helped your child to do something for the first time? Is a question which you need to keep on asking for the rest of your life. The more and more new, 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 new things they are able to experience, oh, that is going to enhance their self-image tremendously. When something is not okay, we catch them immediately. But how many times have we caught them doing right? Very important. The more and more you catch them doing right, oh, they feel good about it. Their self-image improves. Their self-belief improves. The way they look up to themselves changes. The goal of all goal is to get the man in the mirror right. What is it? The goal of all goals is to get the man in the mirror right. When I stand in front of the mirror, and there when I stand in front of the mirror, and I should look at that man in the mirror and say, Chance, Lada. Amazing piece you are. You know, extraordinary. The way you are doing things, the way you are, you know, you know, if, you, if that boy, if the child is able to say that at the earliest, you and I as a parent, we have you know, got 100 out of 100. is more important than how you look. How you look, how she looks, how he looks, how I look. Do we have any control over it, my dear friends? No, not at all. None of us have any control over how we look. That was part of the design. He has designed that lion should look like this only. Lion has no choice or say in that. He has decided pig should look like this only. Pig has no choice in say in that. He has decided that I should look like this only. I have no choice in say in this. He has decided you should look like this only. You have no choice in say in this. First, as an adult, we should realize this. Even as an adult, sometimes we really feel, if only I was two inches tall, it would have been nice, no? But how I wish, my nose is like this here. Now how you look is not in your control. And sooner we keep appreciating their performances and the person that they are, slowly over a period of time, how they look does not matter.
as a parent i have to make my child feel and make the child believe that he is the best and when i believe that i am the best when i believe that yes whatever i perform i'll perform the best when i believe that yes there are very few people who are on par to what i perform i know i'm one of the best so when i get to have that belief in myself in my human potency with what i'm capable of then the way i look at myself the way i look at life will be different in us many years back there was a guy who was sentenced to death he was supposed to be hanged and they told him you want to be bitten by a snake and you want to die or you want to go through the traditional method of you want to be hanged to death and that guy he said why will i struggle here i don't know cobra better so next day morning all the authorities are there he is there sitting on the chair that snake charmer is coming with that cobra and from a distance is able to see the cobra approaching towards him and as he is able to see the cobra approaching towards him they cover his face with that black mask and then they ask him are you ready and they bring that cobra close to him that noise is able to feel and they again ask him are you ready he says yes okay here we go one two three in that moment they pierce him with a pin the moment they pierce him with a pin within a minute's time he dies and not only that my dear in the post mortem report it says he has been killed by venomous poison which means when i am sitting over here my belief system every blood cell of mine every cell of my body it has seen the cobra coming towards me and my belief system is telling in the next few more minutes maximum couple of minutes by the bite of this particular cobra i am going to be dead and i believe that i am going to be dead with this cobra and because i believed it even though i was pricked by a pin i died within a minute and the scientific post mortem says is because of the poison or oh, that is what a belief system can do to you and to your children my dear friends never ever tell your child any waste rani nee idukla you are good for nothing no you know what you are doing by that you are taking a knife it's like you know you are getting your child to lie down and you are telling the child you are good for nothing you are killing your child even though physically you are not killing the child psychologically you are killing your child and physical wound can be cured matter of days matter of time it can be cured the psychological wound oh sometimes it stays with you for a lifetime till your grave it's an amazing cardillac car is there very powerful engine amazing car but you need five people to keep on pushing the car if only the driver can start and learn to push the car himself it will go places illa and that's what a belief system can do to you it can do to your children don't dent powerful how many horsepower is there amazing potency is there but every time with a psychological slap with a psychological dent we feel even though i have a very powerful automobile konja yarna thalli vidringla i am looking for an external support edukada thalli vidano start panni nee eduthu poda pannalama puma pogo that belief system is required in parenting this is very important are you hearing to your children or are you listening to your children when you hear to your children you tell them that they are not important to you when you listen to your children you make them feel that they are important to you the need to be respected is far greater than the need to be loved in this particular generation 
you can never build a relationship by denting the self image of the person whomever it may be criticize the performance find fault with the doing not with the person criticize the performance encourage the performer end of the day academics is not everything in life please remember this it's not everything in life it is important but yet that is not everything in life so end of the day what is important over oh, this belief system a quantitative change brings about a qualitative change and at that point change becomes transformation this is a law a quantitative change keep boiling water so as you keep boiling water 60 degree 70 degree 80 degree 90 degree 95 96 still water 98 still water 99 still water 100 degree vapor so which means a quantitative change a quantitative change a quantitative change a quantitative change at one point that quantitative change brings about a qualitative change and at that point change becomes transformation from water it becomes vapor so when i keep telling myself within my mind as a father as a mother as a teacher when i keep telling myself in my mind oh my son will make it very big in life my daughter will make it very big in life all my students they will have a beautiful life i always end all the program saying life is beautiful and we all deserve to live a very beautiful life this is how i end all my program because when i stand on the dais as a teacher how i see and how i feel for my students is very very mandatory and important you know that relay so there are four people at different different points where they are running so to complete the relay what they give you in your hand baton which means the mother holds the baton first baton is the child that baton is the child. child so the first person the child gets in contact with when the child comes in existence is whom mother she is the starter first runner mother mother shows to the child who the father is so she hands over the baton to the father from here i've come up to this distance now you do your part father will take that baton and run to some extent and then he'll say beyond this for the amount of questions you have i don't have the answers kana i'll go give it to you in search of a guru now guru will take the child and run that baton to a point where the child is able to establish a connect which is beyond judgment daivam and that is when their relay is complete mata pita guru daivam anywhere any one of them they drop the baton what will happen the relay will be disqualified so that is why mata pita guru daivam is very 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 crucial you as nikita you are a very ordinary person but nikita the moment you sit in the chair as a mother you become very powerful very powerful so 
I as Shripal, I am a very ordinary person. But when I sit in the chair as a father, I become very powerful. I as Satya, as an ordinary person, I am a very ordinary person. But the moment I sit in the chair as a teacher, as a guru, and when I look at you, oh, I become very powerful. Very powerful. I may be a charioteer as Krishna, but when I sit in that seat as Devam, I become very powerful. So, person is not powerful. Position is very powerful. Mata, Pita, Guru, Devam. Whatever happens, the final lingering thought should be, my son will make it very, very big in life. My daughter will make it very, very big in life. That should be the lingering thought. By mistake, even by spill of word, never ever look at the children and say, you are hurting me. Now that you are hurting me so much, let me tell you, oh please, never do that. So when you operate as an individual, that is different. But when you operate from the chair, it makes the difference. I hope you understand the difference. It makes a difference. So what you think from the chair, what you speak from the chair, how you act from the chair, what sort of emotions that you are releasing from the chair is all very, very, very crucial. A guy who holds the world record for high jump. He's hardly about 5 feet 6 inches. But he cleared a height which was about 6 feet 2 inches. They all were stunned, surprised. They went and interviewed. They asked him, how come here? You are only 5 feet 6 inches. You are able to clear this height of 6 feet 2 inches. How come? And this athlete would just look at them and say, simple here. I just threw my heart over the bar. The rest followed. Hmm? I just threw my heart over the bar.